Saluton al ĉiuj! Mia nomo estas Greg Dano 3. Mi volas instrui Esperanton. Hey everybody, my name is Greg Dan 3, and today I'm going to be teaching you about Esperanto. Today we're going to learn about the Esperanto word herbivitisto. Let's start by writing that out. H E R B E V I T I S T O. Herbivitisto. Now, that's a long and complicated word, but there's a few parts to it, so let's break it down and try to understand. You might recognize the root of the word as being like the English word herb, and that's exactly right. The Esperanto root is herbo, where you'd have a little o suffix here, and it means grass, or, well, herb. Note that the suffix o here is used for most Esperanto nouns, including herbevetisto. Next, we have this suffix evit, which doesn't work on its own. It needs to have, of course, some root and usually an o suffix as well. Evit is a suffix meaning to avoid. And then we have the suffix east, I-S-T. East is a suffix meaning to be skilled in or to be professional in. If you're around conlang communities, you've probably heard the term esperantist or esperantisto. These use the same suffix and are used to mean one who is skilled in speaking Esperanto. Esperanto is so influential here that other communities will sometimes label their speakers with the same suffix, such as tokiponist or lojbanist. Lastly, as I mentioned, o is how many nouns in Esperanto end. So, Bringing it all together, herbevetisto means chronically online. Wait, I wanted to see an actual Esperanto. Does he even know what he's talking about? There's so many mistakes in his life. I think it's Chad. Wait, is this an April Fool's joke? A monad. Where's the token monoid? Why is it called an of it? When you... Yeah, I'm going to reveal as far as I can tell. Man, 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 Oh, okay, okay, okay. It means one who professionally avoids grass. If you want to see more Esperanto lessons, you can shove it up your... Hey crowd, thank you so much for watching my garbage. If you like it, I'm making even more garbage. So like, comment, and subscribe for the next one. Thanks to everybody who's encouraged me and made all this incredibly cool fan art too. Link in the description. Check everybody out. I don't know how to end this video, so have some random bits from the recordings while I was making this. Also, thanks to Jan Tekinoe for this freaking cool avatar. I love it. Thank you so much for your help. Hey, have I told you about Homestuck? I literally have no idea how my pronunciation is. What's that word? Chewy? Chewy? It's like C circumflex I U. J, which makes a Y sound because because it's like the IPA or whatever. But like only in this one case because C circumflex. I I don't know. That's ch anyway. The chewy. These are these are like the same sound in this context. I and I and J are kind of the same. Oh, I don't get it. What does Esperanto even got going for it? It's got that funny star. Hey, wait a minute. That's me. Hey! I probably should have talked to an Esperanto speaker, to be to be honest. Or or like two. This is kind of what the Lojban logo looks like in my head. So you got two big circles and like a like a little line through the middle and a long line through the other middle. You know what I mean. You know, I, I actually re-recorded this video like four times. It's kind of silly, actually. Uh yeah, it took way too much effort to put this together because every single time I was like, oh yeah, maybe it could be better in this way. Maybe I could do this. Maybe I just in keep increasing the scope of the video until it doesn't go out on time and then it's too late and the April Fool's joke is no longer on April Fool's and it's not funny anymore. Oh, I almost forgot. Yanteki Noe also made the thumbnail. Thank you so much, Yanteki Noe. You're amazing. Thank you for your art and your help. Oh my gosh. Do you, do you, do you want money? Like I, You keep insisting that I don't pay you. Do you want money? I don't actually know any Esperanto.